Welcome to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I have a very, very special episode for you tonight. You see, today was our 100th day of school. We've been in school for 100 days already this year, and we had a big celebration. Everybody dressed up like superheroes. We had so much fun, and I know if you go to another school and you have a 100th day, you're going to have so much fun. Well, here's what happened. When I was getting ready for the 100th day, I found two books that we needed to read for tonight. Two books. One about the 100th day and one about being a superhero. And I couldn't decide. What should I read to my friends? And then I thought about it and I said, you know what? It's a special day. We're going to read both books. Tonight we're going to read two books. We're going to read this book. Now this book Miss Caroline and Miss Debbie gave to me and this is called The Night Before the 100th Day. The Night Before the 100th Day. This is a good book all about a little boy and the thing that he wants to bring to school for the 100th day so they can count to 100 like we did. This is a fun book. And then this book about superheroes. It's called Bedtime for Superheroes. Bedtime for Superheroes. Well, we had Superhero Day, so I had to read a superhero book. So that means that tonight on Goodnight Lighthouse, we're going to read two books. Two great books. I think we'll start with this one, and then we'll end with this one. So, we need to open this book, get inside, and read The Night Before the 100th Day of School. Then, when that's over, Miss Dorothy's going to open this book and read to you Bedtime for Superheroes. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to get started. Are you ready for two books about the 100th day of school? Good. That's great because it's time to sit up, listen up, because here we go. Twice. Twas the night before the 100th day when I started to worry. It looks like they're going to celebrate the 100th day of school too. But I wonder what he's worried about. What'll I bring into school? I need something in a hurry. Maybe 100 socks. Well, that's what he's worried about. He's trying to decide what 100 thing he's going to bring to school. Already most kids have thought of their stuff. What are you bringing? He called his friends to find out what they're bringing. Flip has a hundred photos of his new puppy, Fluff. That's a good thing to bring. Paul says he's bringing pencils. Carter's got his cards. Jane has a hundred jelly beans. Samantha, a hundred gold stars. So I got out my dinosaurs, put them all in a line. When I counted them up, there were only 49. I dumped out my piggy bank, pennies, nickels, and dimes. I counted them twice and came up short both times. He's really searching for 100 things to bring to school. When what with my wondering eyes should I see? No one else will bring ants, no one but me. That night while I nestled all snug in my bed, visions of ants, ants, and more ants danced in my head. The very next morning, the big day was here. Hooray for the hundredth day of the school year. So away to the school bus, I flew in a flash, then hopped off the sidewalk and made a mad dash. He is so excited to get to school for the one hundredth day. Our class was eyeing a huge cake. It smelled oh so sweet. Share time first, said Mr. Stein. Then after, we'll eat. Mabel went first with a hundred marbles in a can. Shana showed her sugar cubes. Then came the twins, Stan and Dan. Everybody is having so much fun showing off their 100 things. Jocasta had a hundred names on her cast. All of a sudden, it was my turn. 
at last. I walked to the table at the front of the room, but I tripped on a marble and landed. Kaboom! The lid, it popped open. Ants came running out. Here's one, there's one. Kids started to shout. Oh no, a hundred ants everywhere. One by one, my ants marched straight towards the snack table. They're going for the, cra the cake, shouted Michael and Mabel. Don't step on them! I headed them off with crumbs from my lunch. Go back to the farm, I told the whole bunch. 60, 70, 80. I counted through 99. Where was the last one? He found 99 of the ants, but he's missing just one. On me, said Mr. Stein. There he was, crawling up the teacher's leg. Now that share time is over and the last ant is in, it's time for our party. Let the celebration begin. Are you ready for cake? We all shouted yes. Then we blew out the candles. How many? Just guess. Everybody knows that being a superhero is hard and messy work. Crash! Looks like the superhero got knocked over by the garbage can. And there's a smelly fish in there. Superheroes fight evil. Kapow! Catch bad guys. Zap! Help people and animals. Zoinks! And save the day. Bam! Everybody knows that superheroes wear capes and coats, socks and scarves, tutus and t-shirts, masks and more. Those are some really good superhero costumes. Everybody knows that superheroes work all day to keep the world safe. Wow. One of them's fighting a robot and the other an octopus and a big dinosaur. Those are some hard-working superheroes. You can find superheroes in the store, on the swings, whee, in the library, see all the books in the library, and on the stoop. Everybody knows that superheroes fight bad guys everywhere. Wham! Pow! Crash! And everybody knows that bad guy goo stinks, stains, smears, and splats. What a disaster! Oh, look at all the goo. Black. But the day isn't over for superheroes like you. Everybody knows that superheroes need to recharge their bodies, wash off bad guy goo, Relax their muscles and rest their minds. And everybody knows that superheroes eat their dinner, take a bath, brush their teeth, read a book, just like we are. And everybody knows that superheroes need sleep. In a bed, upside down, in a spaceship, right side up. Tomorrow say it, you'll save the day again. And everybody knows that you're the best superhero 
on the block, in the neighborhood, in the city, in the world. Good night, superhero. Wow, that was a good book. And this was a good book. These were two really good books for us to read on the 100th day of school. I'm so glad that I got both of these books and had time to read both of them to you. I'm glad it was a Friday night. So maybe you could stay up just a little bit later and listen to them. So, my favorite things about these two books. Let me think. This book, oh my, I thought it was so funny that he decided to bring ants to school. Who would have thought of bringing 100 ants? Where would you find 100 ants? That was crazy, but that was fun. And then the ants got out, and then they had to catch them all with the crumbs from his lunch, put them all back, and then they found the last one climbing up the leg of the teacher. I don't think I would have liked that. But it worked out really well, and they had so much fun on their 100th day of school, just like we did today. And then this book, Bedtime for Superheroes. This was a good book, too. I liked seeing all the things that superheroes do during the day, how they keep us safe and fight bad guys and take care of people. But then at night, they go to bed just like you and me. So even superheroes need a good night's sleep after a big day. This was a fun episode. I am so excited we got to do both books tonight. But I tell you guys, it's been a busy, busy superhero day and a busy, busy 100th day. And it's time for us to turn it off and go to sleep, just like a good superhero would. So I need everybody to fly into bed and get ready for a really good night's sleep. But before you do, I really want to thank God for all the fun we had today. I want to thank God for our school that we've been able to go to for 100 days. So will you take a minute and pray with Miss Dorothy? All right, fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for our school. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you that you let us have a place where we can go to learn as we grow up and learn all the important things in life and in school so that we can get ready to go to big school so that we can learn how to read and most of all lord so we can learn more about you help us to get a good night's sleep help us to wake up tomorrow ready for a fun day with mom and dad and help us to remember to be kind to people like a good superhero and to help people whenever we can help us to be more like you in jesus name amen All right, little superhero, it's off to bed for you. We've got to get some sleep after this big day. I want you to have a really good night, a really great weekend, and I want you to have all the fun that you can possibly have and then get ready to come back for day number 101 next week so we can continue learning and you can continue growing to be the smart little superhero that you are. Now, for now, you go off to sleep, hug and kiss mom goodnight, And remember, whatever you do, do what all superheroes do. Obey and obey right away. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.